Let me turn this light on. Crap. I don't even know if it helps. Whoa! Not that one. That one, maybe. Okay, so <laughs> now we have an urgent message, which uh, I was doing something, getting ready to go to work and having my coffee, but now um, this is work too. So, uh, tune in. Um, I was just seriously in the middle of, it blows my mind. All right, I have to be clear. Um, this is why, this is why. So, uh, please like and subscribe, maybe turn on your notifications. Um, I didn't know what I was signing up for, but apparently this is what I signed up for. Um, and that's what happens. You kind of have to understand, uh, if you decide on a life of service, uh, you don't know, <laughs> you don't know what uh, you're gonna end up doing. It doesn't matter what plans you had. Uh, God has plans to prosper you. Um, <laughs> that just came out. That's so, that's not even what I was gonna say. Anyway, um, so tune in to yourselves, okay? This is touching on the whole early harvest thing and your intuition and um, how important it is in this time to be vigilant. Um, if you're being drawn toward seeking the truth, if it's on your heart, follow your heart. Keep looking. As long as you're doing your best and you mean to get to the bottom of what your heart is calling you to, you're on the right track. Um, if you know that you're not on the right track, get off and turn around. Um, these things that I just went through, um, it, you know, and even it, like it was a long process, but I really believe that this last chunk was really meant to throw me off. Um, and this is what God does, you know, when you make that decision and you go through all this stuff and you think you think you're at the end, you think finally I get it, finally like I have this faith and it's so strong and I know it's right and that's when he tests you, okay? Be prepared. There will come a time when God will test you. And the only thing that you will have to go on is your knowledge of the truth. And how do we get to knowledge? Through experience. You can, uh, I used to get so mad in school. I hated, I love the sciences. I love all the sciences. I couldn't freaking stand labs because to me, it was a waste of time because I just read in the book exactly what was gonna happen. We know what's gonna happen, like let's move on and learn something else. I was incorrect about the process because anything can happen. It's the process that teaches you. Uh, it's the process of things going wrong. Maybe you didn't follow all the directions, maybe, um, maybe you did follow all the directions and something got contaminated and you don't know what happened and you have to go back and retrace your steps saying repeat that retrace your steps um, you're missing something small I don't like where is this coming from okay that's important retrace your steps so um, it's the process something in the process so that's important for all of us so what we have to understand is these things God teaches us is you know for us to be able to recall his wisdom at the time that we need it this is why we need to develop our intuition, okay? This is how we work together because this is collective consciousness, okay? When you reach Christ consciousness, it allows you to tap in to higher collective consciousness. I don't even know where that just came from. Holy cow. <laughs> wow, okay. So, I have to go, I have things to do. This is not even what I thought, anyway, so. I keep getting all these little tiny messages and I get them stronger when I go on my walks and um, 
I kept thinking about buried treasure, buried treasure, buried treasure. And I go on my walk, and so I do, I like to take little detours and like look at the water and find cool rocks. I love rocks. I have a lot of these like smooth rocks that I pick up, um, and I love them. So I looked down, I was following little fireflies, and I see this like blue rock. So, um, then, whoa, anyway, so I find this blue rock and I'm digging and digging and then I find red rocks and then I realize I was like, this is like aquarium rocks, right? And then, uh, I find half a G.I. Joe guy, like half one of those plastic army guys, I don't know if it's G.I. Joe. I find half an army guy, like a sniper with a gun and, um. I don't know why I thought to pick these things up, but there were so many and I was like, well, I like rocks anyway and these are pretty. So I was like, maybe I'll just decorate something with them. So I have a handful of rocks, red and blue rocks and half a military guy. Um, I had the top half, bottom half, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, anyway, so I take them home and I wash them off. And I'm like, why did I pick these things up? Like what the hell am I gonna do with the aquarium rocks? Uh, and there was also like a wire sticking out of the ground and I kept finding stuff so I was like why is there a wire sticking out of the ground so I pull it out and I'm like I took that too I don't know why so I was like what is all this random stuff just like buried here so anyway they've been sitting in a bowl because I was like oh man like what if this is some kind of witchcraft <laughs> I was like I totally just ruined somebody's uh, black magic <laughs> So, <laughs> my bad, uh, or my good, who knows. Anyway, so I washed it off and I put it in a bowl and I was like, maybe I should cover that up or something. I don't know what's going on with it. Anyway, so I looked at it today and I was talking to God and I was like, why did I pick up these rocks? And I swear it's you, like I heard inside my head, um, <clears throat> pour water in, right? And then I went to like use the faucet and I was like, no wait, I have purified water in the closet. And like, why am I going to dump the good water in this bowl of uh, aquarium rocks, right? And it's half an army guy. So, I was like, whatever. So, I did it, and I filled it up, and it starts swirling around, and the rocks move around the, uh, the perimeter of the bottom of the bowl, and it looks like an eye. And then the, the army guy's swirling, swirling, and I was like, it's cool. It's like he's aiming, like around the like circumference he's moving and then he like sort of stops at like there's a chip in the top of the bowl and I was like I was like what am I getting out like somebody somebody got shot at and it just like grazed part of their body and I was like that shot was meant to kill them and I'm like what does this mean and like so he's still aiming 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 and then around the bowl and then he stops I kid you not, I'm like leaning on the counter and he stops and his gun is aimed right here, like grazing my arm if, if he were to shoot. And I realize that we have to keep our eyes, all of our senses, um, keep your eyes open and guard yourself, guard your energy, guard your heart. Um, listen to it because God is leading you somewhere. And you've got to, yes, you, you need your brain to analyze all of these things. Um, but you've got to trust <laughs> feelings. you got to trust your intuition. There's a reason that we have these feelings. Um, it's an extra sense that you need to develop and it's underdeveloped in us. So this is for somebody that needs to hear. Please, uh, I, I, I don't know. And I'm, yes, it applies to me. Uh, uh, I think it doesn't just apply to me. Um, because I think that, you know, I, I could have run into a major failure. <laughs> what if I did give up? What if that last shot at me killed me? What if I lost everything? Um, you can take the things of this world. And that's another thing I realized today. I was like, like, <laughs> who cares? How many times have I lost everything? And it's just like magic. You know, I can build it up again. Like, what was I thinking? Being even upset about it. Like, what was I thinking? Stalling myself. Like, I have always been able to build from nothing and uh, attract everything that I need. But I don't know if I, like, really 
do it, do it, do it in my heart of hearts. And like, I definitely do now. So I love you. I, I, I need to be gone. I need to brush my teeth and get out of here because I have work to do. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. This is very important for all of us. Thanks.